Sup guys. Well, I finally got a new phone after my two year contract was up. I used to have a piece of crap Samsung Omnia that I thought would have been cool at the time, but Windows Mobile pretty much ruined any fun that could have been had with that phone. So I went ahead and picked up a Droid X. Take a quick uh, walk around here. We got ourselves a little indicator because I missed a call. I have a voicemail, speaker, and then down here we have the menu button home button, back button, and search button, as well as a microphone that you probably can't see. I'm just going to randomly grab a light since my Creative Auto doesn't have one, just so you can see some stuff. Turn that back off for a sec. And then on this side, we've got a mini HDMI and a micro USB for charging. And then on the back, we got ourselves another microphone, the speaker for speakerphone and listening to music and whatnot. We have an 8 megapixel uh, camera with dual LED flash, and it also shoots in 720p video. And then on the top, we have another microphone for noise cancellation, a 3.5 millimeter headset port, and the turn on off and unlock button. Well, not really unlock button, but turns the phone on so you can get to the unlock screen. And then that's your basic unlock screen, which I really wish I could figure out how to make it last a little longer. But uh, you can mute the phone from it, unmute the phone from it. If you're playing music or something, you can uh, change tracks, pause and play and whatnot. So let's just unlock that. Then we basically have contacts, that's the main menu button, so you can go through all your apps and whatnot that you have. I haven't really downloaded that much yet. Press the home key. Then we got the dial pad, which is humongous. Uh, let's see here, music real quick. speaker is pretty good. It's not quite as loud as my uh, Omnia was, but it's so much more clear and it actually has an equalizer. Anyway, enough of that. Don't want to get my video muted because I'm using songs. Go back home. Uh, Pretty much everybody's seen the Android market. Browser is pretty fast. Because I got good service where I am. It'll depend on where you are pretty much. Uh, let's see. Let's go to bookmarks. And let's go to a place where I get some, where I get my anime from. You got pinch to zoom, which works really nice. Not quite as smooth as an iPhone. And it's the screen is very responsive. It doesn't lag like people say it does, at least mine doesn't. Still, the touch screen is not quite as, you know, nice as the iPhones, but a nice screen and all that other stuff that the iPhone comes with. I mean, I still like this phone better. It's not going to change me from going from awesome Verizon reliability to AT&T's dropped calls. That and I don't like how closed the Apple environment is. They make some cool stuff, don't get me wrong, but that's just my personal opinion on that. Anyway, back home. Uh, you've got different home screens. And then on the bottom here, as you can see, when you move, it pops up with things so you can just bounce. I still like scrolling. I don't know why. So, see, pretty much I just got some basic apps here. I got AIM, Task Manager, which is very important.
Because if you don't, if you just like keep opening apps, they'll pile up and then your phone will start being slow. Nobody likes a slow phone. Well, this is pretty much just a short overview. I haven't had the phone long enough. I just got it in the mail or from FedEx yesterday. So I haven't had enough time to, you know, mess around with it and figure out all the stuff I like and what I don't like about it. But so far, there's nothing I don't like about it. I mean, some people might not like the size, but, I mean, that's just a personal preference. I like the whole big screen thing. It's nice for watching videos. And it gives you a lot of space to, like, view web pages and whatnot. So, anyway, this was just a quick overview of my new phone. Uh, once I've had it long enough, I'll definitely make a review of it. So, uh, till then, peace out, guys.